It's your boy, Yoda Bang, Broke the Riches TV, back at it again. And today we got on the menu, we got DJ Academic and Brick Baby. Ooh, ooh, shit's getting hot, man. Shit's getting fucking hot in the goddamn internet. It's fire. That nigga, act. DJ Academic's been drinking that yak, and he been going crazy on the internet. Now everybody know. Brick Baby been going viral. He been doing his little moments. He been trying to become a podcast. He been doing his thing and shit like that. But DJ Academics say, don't you speak on him. Don't you speak on him, Brick Baby. That's what he said, man. He said, don't you speak on him, man. Because uh, y'all playing with him. He saying, y'all playing with Big Act, man. That game banging shit don't work with Big Act. Big Act said he got the mola. He got the money. He got the money to get you niggas finished, man. He got some of you niggas don't got. Mm-hmm. He say he'll get you niggas spanked by your own partners. Say you need a touching, you need a spanking, get you spanked by your own partners. That's how he coming. He say that's how he coming, man. Facts. You can know what you gonna do, Brick Baby. You done spoke on, you done spoke on Charleston White. You done spoke up on all these people. And the reason why y'all come, the reason why he coming at your head, boy, because you saying he playing with the rainbow community. Yeah, you said he playing with transmissions, man. Without knowing he was a transmission, man. Or he did know he was a transmission. See, you got to go do your homework. See, y'all did on the podcast. You saying, is it a transmission? Did he know he was a transmission before he jumped in his DM? You playing with his name. You playing with his name, Brick Baby. He said that game banging shit don't work over there. He said he know. He said from he he already know from six nine. He didn't learn from six nine. Now I don't know what the fuck he done learned from six nine, but he said that this what he learned from six nine. He said that you game banging niggas don't want nothing but some money. That's all you niggas wanted some money. And he got plenty of it. He said he'll get you whacked by your own partners, put three hundred thousand dollars on your head and get you done, boy. 300k. 300k is all that it takes to take your problems away. That's what he said. It was him. It was him, not me. Don't blame the messenger, man. But yeah, he said it. He said he'll put 300k on your head today and make your problems go away. Ooh, shit. I ain't never heard Act talk like that. Academic, man. I ain't never heard you talk like that. When you start getting so bold. You start getting so bold, academics. It's a damn shame, man. Mm-hmm. He said, don't play with me. Don't play with Big Act. That's what he said. He said, because he'll have your partners come spank you. Uh-huh. He said, he'll give them 200000 just come spank you up. <sighs> yeah, Big Baby, it ain't looking too good. Now you turn the podcast, and now it's just like... You think these same game banging rules are in effect, bro? It ain't my nigga. This is these niggas' world, bro. This nigga is the man who brought us the war in Chirac, nigga. Shit, we used to watch. Majority of the viewers used to watch when they was kids, man. When you used to want to figure out about Chicago, I know when I used to want to figure out Chicago, I used to go to listen to the look at the wars in Chirac on YouTube all the time. That's what I used to do. Back in the day. Back in the heyday. You understand know me? And like shit. So, Big A been around. You know what I'm saying? He been around. He been, he entrepreneur this shit. He the blueprint this shit. You know what I mean? Pretty much. And you just not getting into this world, but you get into this internet shit thinking that you can play game bank in Texas. And that shit don't work. It don't work like that. It don't work like that over here. You got to play by these niggas' rules. You got to troll niggas. You got to have niggas all in your comments. You got to have your fans go get in the comments. You got to have all type of shit going on right now. This ain't this ain't the same pull up on a nigga, punch on a nigga, and punch a nigga down. No, that shit get you shot. And he said he coming no jumping. That nigga say any he'll be up there and no jumping. You ain't going to do shit. He said he going to come up there to no brick baby. Brick baby, listen here. My boy said he'll come up to no jumper, nigga, and you won't do a fucking thing. He said you won't do shit if he come up there. He gonna have the best security. So he gonna have the best security in town. And if you touch him, you wanna. 86. 86. Mm-hmm. 
So you're going to be 86. No mas. Not a mas. No mas. Out of there. Finish. Finito. Gone. Yeah, if you touch him. He said, if you touch him, you finito. Gone. Out of there. No mas. Ooh, shit, Brick Baby. How you do that? How you just going to set them threats? What you going to do when he come up there? Because he said he coming to Fig Community. He coming to the community. And then he coming over there to No Jumper, bro, with big security. And he can have it where your ass is either sitting at home or your ass got some act right. He said that you won't do shit. Now, he fucking with your image. Now, you didn't came to this motherfucking podcast shit trying to get your podcast and shit together, trying to get your commentating more, you know what I'm saying, better, you know what I'm saying, and uh, your subjects, your topics, and elaboration, learning how to interview and let people talk and shit like that. You've been trying to work on this shit here, and you getting you fucking with a goddamn monster. Boy, you done barked up the wrong tree. Academic ain't one of them niggas that you barked up the tree, my nigga. This nigga said fight. This nigga in careers, man. That nigga in rappers' careers, man. Look at that academics. I do come in peace, my bro. I come in peace. I'm just shit. Nigga, the way you be firing niggas ass up, you talking about pick 30 on a nigga, $3,000, $300,000 on a nigga head? Ooh. That'll make the problem go away. Just think about it. One nigga want to rap the nigga. One nigga might want that whole some bitch. Want that whole 300000 Come on, big baby. You got niggas on your head, buddy. Ever since you went to No Jumper, bro, problems. I mean, the cowboy bit on your ass. You know what I'm saying? Snoopy Badass, he applying pressure. He call you uh, a blueberry bitch. You know what I'm saying? And now you got DJ Academic on your motherfucking ass, man. It's crazy, nigga. I think Adam's up behind this shit. I don't know what Adam got to do with this. I just want to blame Adam so bad. But he got something to do with it. He has to have something to do with it. Ain't no way that you just saying this ridiculous shit just trying to get on. But he can't make you talk. He can't make you talk. He can't make you say what I mean. He, uh, niggas do whatever niggas say anyhow. But shit, still though. You know what I mean? God. Damn, Brick. Brick baby went to academics. He, he going against academics, going crazy, man. Y'all let me know about this shit, man. I don't know how the fuck he gonna get out of this one. Shit, it might be down here for him right now. I don't know. He, but, you know, it might be some good publicity, too, for his ass, too. But, shit, academics, like, he coming to destroy it. He coming with receipts. And he just coming to niggas' doorsteps. He breaking it to niggas. He wish a nigga would try him right now. You know, and I don't, like I say, I don't think, I don't think that act, you know what I mean, no gangster ass nigga, but he a civilian and he doing the civilian shit that gangster niggas don't like. Like, street niggas want niggas to keep shit in the streets. Niggas don't, niggas don't have to keep shit in the streets. They not street. Who gonna want to, who want to keep it? In the streets, who not street, my nigga, they don't know how that shit go by. These are civilians. These are motherfuckers who know. Call the motherfucking laws on your ass. Get your ass gone. That's who they know. Mm, hire security and let security handle business. You know what I mean? Hire a lawyer and, and, and let that handle business. This is the motherfuckers you dealing with. You dealing with some civilians. These are the, some psh, kill you and get away with it type shit. You know what I'm saying? Free body type shit. You pull the wrong move. And then you just a street punk. He a civilian, you a street punk. So when they pull, when they look up here, they say if the laws come around and they your ass on the ground, you didn't got smoke. You a street thug. You known for rob, you known for rob, stealing, and killing. That's what you known for, okay? Then you got this civilian who's licensed to have to carry. He licensed to carry. And your ass called yourself trying to take something from him. Or well, even if you was playing tough with him, he smoke your motherfucking ass and he tell the law you was trying to rob him. Nigga, who, who the law gonna believe? You dead already. I mean, shit. It is likely that you did try to rob the man, but it probably didn't go in like that. You probably just had an altercation with the man that stole off on him and, and he shot you. But the man can say you tried to rob him. So you better watch out with tree you barking up, man. Keep gangster and gangster keeps the civilian shit and the civilian shit. Don't come to the internet shit thinking that it's like that. It's not the game banging shit no more. It's the world anymore. Brick baby. Check yourself for you wreck yourself, bro. 
Know the feds, know the feds watching. Know the feds watching, man. If the feds only knew that you was the one selling all that dope, what would they do? If the feds only knew. Now, you see what I'm saying, baby? You see what I'm getting to? You see what I'm coming up with, man? Watch yourself, man. And you beefing with a big dog. That big dog gonna sit your ass down somewhere. 300,000 make your problem go away, man. You, you, you gotta look at some of your partners that you got around you, too, man. Look at them niggas. You know them niggas hungry. You know what 300,000 to do for them niggas. They got kids. They can't go get pampers. You know what they got going on. 300,000 sound real good, nigga. So, move lightly. Watch how you commentate, man. You know what I'm saying? Watch what tree you disrespected, man. Because these niggas is coming for your ass, nigga. And the doors is closing in on your ass. Y'all hit that like button, man. Y'all hit them comments. Let me know. Am I tripping? Am I wrong on this shit? You know what I'm saying? I'm just thinking that, man, say, Brick Baby is finally getting what he asked for. All that tough talk that he talking, this shit is coming. This shit coming for your yeah, ass, boy. Nigga, bring it to your doorstep. And if you don't respond the way you're supposed to respond, that might be it for this internet career for you, my brother. We might not want to hear nothing from you or see nothing from you either. For real. Y'all hit that subscribe button, man. It's your boy, Yoda Bane. Broke the Riches TV, and I'm gone.